Howdy folks, Gabriel here, hiking along in Jasper National Park where it is late July and I'm wearing long underwear and a jacket. It was pouring down rain a, a couple of minutes ago, a little while ago, and now a little bit of sun um, peeking out. Weird summer we're having. So this video is uh, titled, Why You Should Find Truth Within. And um, so the reason is because, for one thing, human beings have a outdated conception of God. And the basic uh, uh, misbelief on the part of humans is this understanding of God as being sort of this, you know, heavenly fatherly figure looking down on humans, expecting them to adhere to the rules and do the right thing and um, be righteous in the religious sense of do this, 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 and this, and you will be good and you'll go to heaven. Don't do this, 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 and this. You will then be bad and you'll go to hell. Um, that's what all religions teach, pretty much, with a few exceptions. Um, and just based on my own understanding, this is, you know, obviously just, just my own opinion and belief, this is incorrect. This is, this is based on very, very old ideas of who and what God is. And God has evolved a great deal since, since uh, those ideas were conceived of. And, um, and this is not truly what, what God wants of us and what is the best for us in terms of evolving ourselves along the spiritual path. And I'll be uh, talking about this concept, outdated visions of God, in, in another video. So, um, truth is, I mean, there are universal truths. Obviously, there are universal laws, the law of gravity, the speed of light, etc. Um, so I don't mean to convey the concept that everything is relative and there's no, there are no rules whatsoever and that it's all completely subjective. But when it comes to the spiritual path, the quest for truth, evolving one's soul, um, what makes you happy and what is, what is best for yourself and for others, then it is all highly subjective. And it is based on your own personal, you know, soul, your, your makeup, your strengths and weaknesses, what you desire in life, um, what makes you happy, what makes your heart sore, um, and just what your personal quest and mission is in life, and, and various other factors. So, most religions teach, here are, here are our, you know, tenets, our spiritual beliefs that you should agree with. And so take those and apply them to your life. And then that's the best, the best thing for you. The problem is that this is a static, linear construct of that you're trying to get from point A to point B in order to become a good person. And so follow these steps and they will take you there. This is not how reality works. This is not how the soul works. Reality is purely the present moment. There is no time, as I understand it. Um, I mean, I mean, there is, there is only the present moment, obviously. There's, you know, you're here now and that's all there is to it. Um, but, the human soul, or the soul in general, is extremely dynamic, multi-dimensional, ever-changing, ever-evolving, spontaneous. Um, you can't work with a soul in such a way as just, here's what you do and these are the effects that you're going to get. Um, we're constantly changing in every moment, our thoughts, our feelings our uh, perception, our emotions, and trying to apply 
a one-size-fits-all belief system to spirituality ends up creating a very frozen path of learning that does not allow us to reach our full potential. Because what truth is, is different to a great extent from one person to the next. And when you accept somebody else's version of truth and try to apply it to your life, then what happens is that it only goes so deep. It enters the mind and then you try to apply it from that place. But you never, not never, but it's less likely, likely that you're truly going to realize that truth within the depths of your soul in such a way that you actually know it to be true because you've experienced it, you've realized it, you've seen the effects of it because you've found that truth within. And so that's, you know, the title of this video is the importance of truly realizing truth within yourself and not just taking somebody else's word for it that this is the way it is and this is the best way to go. Um, so the ultimate point that I'm getting to here is that we need to find our own individual unique perception of reality based on our own uh, real life experiences. Just give a quick uh, little pan of the, the woods here. Because there is no one size fits all perception of the universe. The universe is made up of multiple, multiple perspectives and the, the best way to get closest to truth is through a synthesis of these multiple perspectives which means not just uh, taking somebody else's truth and uh, accepting that as the ultimate truth, but all of us um, finding, expressing, asserting our own perception based on our experiences, outer and inner, and, and putting them out there and trying out different things to see what makes sense to us, what works for us, what doesn't seem to make sense, in order to get closer to that, you know, ultimate truth, if you will, of, of reality. Um, and so, taking somebody else's version of truth and going with that, and expecting that to propel you along the spiritual path, will only take you so far. Because that is based on a fundamentally flawed understanding of how reality works. Um, the, the way to get much closer to, to truth and to give your soul the chance to um, evolve in a much more powerful way that is in alignment with the truth of our souls is to recognize that we are aspects of God. God isn't up in the clouds looking down on us. I mean, they're, they're, they're as I understand it, they're very, very well maybe, in, you know, another aspect of God that does have a more objective overview, but we are not separate from that. And we are simply extensions of that. We are God, in a sense, projections of God experiencing this world for the sake of God's own learning as well. And, uh, and so it's important to find that that balance of understanding that, that we are simultaneously very, very tiny little sand, you know, specks of sand on the beach. And also we are, we are God and we are um, infinitely powerful at the same time. Um, and so, you know, trust that inner truth, whether it's always, you know, absolutely right or not. Seek that inner truth and trust your intuition to guide you along the path in finding the clearest, most balanced, most compassionate perspective on reality that you can possibly find. Alright, thanks for watching.